Welcome to Fast Performance TV. I'm Claudio Encina. Our aim is to pile on the resources, provide a breakthrough, give you an idea, strategy, become more innovative, and just be much, much more successful. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the five common mistakes to avoid during a listing presentation. Many agents go into listing presentations and make a lot of mistakes, but I've discovered there are five areas that I think you need to look at. So today I'm going to focus on number one, failing to recognize the customer's personality style. Now generally they have four personalities. Either they're a driver, which is the D personality, the I, which is the influencer, the S, which is steadiness, or the C type of personality, which is compliance. I'm not gonna to talk to you today, maybe in one of our further videos I'll talk to you about the disc personality, but I really would like you to understand is, you need to recognize their style. If a guy wants to get to the point, don't fluff around. He's a driver, get to the point. So start working on that. Number two is not using quality presentation materials. If you're not standing out, okay, you're fitting in with all the other agents. I heard this expression once. It said, average achievers try to fit in, ultra achievers look at standing out. Which one are you, the average achiever or the ultra achiever? Number three, not having good listening skills. There's two types of listening skills, my friends. Either you're in a passive listening skill or you've got an active listening skill. Passive listening skill is you hear it one ear and out the other. Okay, when you're in an active listener, you basically reaffirm everything the client needs so they hear that you're understanding what their needs are. It's quite simple. The fourth one is believing one size fits all. It's not going to a listing presentation and you're just gonna bring out all this collateral and marketing and saying, this is what we need to do. Listen to the client's needs, be empathetic, be caring, and basically work something out that can provide a solution for them, but don't go into a listing presentation believing one size fits all. The fifth and last common mistake made during a listing presentation. Wow, not following through. How many times when I'm coaching clients, I say, how did you go with that potential listing? And they go, oh, I was meant to give them a call. Have a system to follow through. If you don't follow through, your leads are gonna fall through the cracks. So now that you understand the five common mistakes made during a listing presentation, don't be that agent. Go out there, win more business, and list more properties.